and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Uh, I'm your host, Nick Legato. Okay, so, we've gotten, we have got a lot of Gauss Rages pretty much set up here. But we're not done yet. We've still got some loose ends and some things we need to do. Walking, 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 walking. You can tell I just woke up again. Another day. No, I didn't just wake up. I woke up about three hours ago. It's about 9.30 now. Uh, anyway, so this is all I have to do about Vector and... Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about what the plan is here. I'm getting some lag again. Damn it. Seems to be trying to correct itself. I have nothing running in the background. I don't know what that is. I got a, I got a nice, powerful I, I, I9, so I don't know what it's doing. Oh, I have overkill. I'll tell you. Probably just the recorder. I'm uh, working right or something. No big deal. So it looks like they have to get the espers to cooperate with them. And that is their bond between man and esper. Bitch, you work for us now. <laughs> if only it were that easy. You know, every time we've come to uh, Narsh, it's always been like a bad incident with Terra. It's like the city officially hates her. Okay, so, done with that. There's a few things we could do if we wanted to. Uh... It, but, you know, it's up for debate whether or not you really want to do it or not. I personally don't really care. Uh, <laughs> um, but there are some things you should do while you're here. Tridents are overrated. Poison Rod, you don't really need it, but you can buy one if you want anyway. Uh, the Hawkeye is a weapon upgrade for lock. Um, it's really, really good on enemies that fly. Now, the catch is we're going to be trading that in for the uh, Thief Knives, which means that if we trade in the Thief Knives, he obviously won't be able to use attack and steal at the same time, unless we replace it with Capture. Now, if we replace it with Capture, we lose the benefit of it doing, I think, three times damage to flying enemies. So, if that's really the case buy them, but we're not going to use them, probably. Probably. Um, so, it, it, it never sell weapons. They have more long-term uses. <laughs> um, it goes back to what we've been talking about. How is it going to help us and such is up for debate. Well, not even that it's up for debate. I'm sorry. What's the word I am looking for is that... Um, Oh jeez, what is it? It's uh see what happens when my mind just wanders. Um it has a lot really to do. Mithril mail, mithril vest. I don't need that anymore. Uh it has a lot of God, what's the word I'm thinking of? Okay, that's good. It has a lot to do really with um, one, two, I really just need two, or th just need two, there, really just needed, you yeah, know, that was right, um, we want a tiara, um, two, three, you know, it really has just a lot to do with what you're, now I forgot what I was talking about. See, I'm, I'm trying to multitask, and it's too early for me to be multitasking. Yeah, that's fine. You don't get gold armor. You still get the uh, Gaia gear, and then when you don't need the Gaia gear, you get the white dress woman. Um, you know what? Never mind. I, I can't remember for the life of me. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. So, equipping the... Um, capture ring. The ring that allows 
Ziploc to capture the Thieves Ring is probably not the best idea either because then you lose the effect of the long range throw. So the question is, is really, because you can give the Genji in the next dungeon that we're really going to do. Um, the question is, oh no, what is this noise? I'm Lone Wolf, the pickpocket, I wanted that treasure. You bastard, no! If you don't know who Lone Wolf is, uh, he was from Final Fantasy V. Um, just to give you, you a heads up. He is uh, originally from Final Fantasy V. So anyway, we gotta follow him because we want that treasure. At least we think we want that treasure. I think I want that treasure. I think you would want that treasure. Anyway, so he goes back to the description of do we want him to be able to fight and steal at the same time or do we want the attack bonuses? Sister, aren't you, bastard? I'll get you. I'll get you yet. Um, I prefer the attack bonus, because if I want to steal, because, again, it, it has to do with Locke is not the heavy, heaviest damage output per person for, he's not the heaviest, per the best person for damage output, and I'd rather have him stealing equipment and gear over actual, and yes, to me, damage output is more important. Because if I need, I don't need to steal from every enemy at this point of the game. Because I have enough money, it's easy for me to, it's easy enough to accumulate money and to find something to consume my time in order for me to get money. So when I say consuming my time, I can uh, do so many different things to consume my time, uh, like going to the vault and making money on the vault, which is always an easy thing to do. Uh oh, what is this noise? Uh... Ah, lag! Ooh! Don't want... Even though the gold hairpin cuts all magic attacks in half... I'd rather have Mog. I like the music here. <laughs> Human loving, fast talking, street smart, slam dancing Moogle is. We'll go with Mog instead of Moogle. <laughs> the old psycho Rama. <laughs> Thanks, Rummer. Take the. <laughs> okay, so there's Moogle. Moogle or Mog, anyway. I'm sorry, Mog. Mog always seems to. Whenever you recruit, you don't like. You didn't have to recruit him now. You do have to recruit him. You have to try to recruit him by a certain point. But uh, Mog himself. Is, no matter what time you recruit him, is always five levels higher than the highest level person of your party, I believe. Or five levels higher, maybe even Terra. Um, he uses spears? Well, we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute, because we're not done yet with our odds and ends here. Darn thing. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of things we want to do with, you know, Mog, and so we're not done with our odds and ends here. We've still got some work ahead of us. But we're almost done with the odds and the ends and, you know, all the things we've been preparing for. Free healing! Yeah, why pay for it in when you can just do that? <laughs> this ghost will tell you how to use espers. Yay, good for the ghost. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're back in the field again. Let's take off. Let's put Mog into our party here. There he is. Mog is one of the stronger characters in the game. 
he's pretty much strong in his in his own respect. He's very strong because he's very much like Gao in a way, but he's a stronger attacker. You get more control options. So he equipped everyone that's not in the party. Mog is effective as well from the back row. He can wear the gold armor, but we can put Gaia gear on him, which makes him a little more effective in the long run than uh, the others. He equipped the trident. He, as you can see, he equips weapons like the trident. Uh, gold helmet or green beret, maybe, but... I'd rather him have a green beret on right now. And look at that, he's level 23. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, all those tonics from hours of stealing. <laughs> Um, he comes with no magic, so we'll want to put an Esper on him immediately. I would say put Seraphim on him. He's going to be more of a support character because we can't always rely on him for magic for obvious reasons. Because you'll see what I'm talking about. He has the special ability called Dance. And, um... And like, uh... Gao, you lose control of his ability to do basic functions. In other words, there's a lot of things you can't do <laughs> if you're under random status effects. He learns three dances here. One on the plane, one in the forest, and one in the desert. So we'll... Because these are short, going to be very short battles. Except for this part. I equipped it... As you can see, I equipped him with the uh, dragon boots. Because... Other than his dance, Mog is kind of exposed to not really being able to do much other than dance. So the real trick is... Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh no, okay. I was worried for a second. I'm like, oh man, I made him jump, so maybe it won't count. So he learns a dance. Um, there's a forest dance, so obviously this is the manner in which you learn dances. So... <laughs> There's a just it's just a chance that he'll learn the dance when you're in that kind of territory. So, you know, hit up all the elemental territories. I'll show them all to you, except for one because you can't do that one yet. So obviously this will be the forest dance, and then I'll discuss the dances and hopefully before the end of the video. I'll just do a quick run and I can talk pretty damn fast if I have to. So gotta dance there, or I'll talk about it in the next episode and then continue the story while getting to the locale. There's obviously a desert one. Give me desert. Bring me the head of John Malkovich. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, just ignore what I... Uh. As long as he didn't do it to the same per to, to the two people I was trying to use. That's one of the reasons to get the Aryan it summoned uh, the rage, though, right there. Goodbye. This should be the dance. This should be, yeah. Um, we, I believe he already has the Dusk Requiem, which is for the cave. If not, there is a place to go to get that. Um, you actually earn that. You can easily earn that dance if you used Mog in the uh, battle at, uh, I want to say the battle at, um, where you're with Locke in the underground. Mount Colts is going to be the place where we get the next dance, but it's, it can't be done in the cave. Yeah, so you can't do it in the mountains. You gotta do it on the mountain side. Out here. And then he should learn his new... Yeah, he already must have learned it, because he didn't learn it when I got in that fight in the cave, so... Just kill everything. I don't care how much MP I use. Come on, anytime. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. Alright, this should teach him the newest dance. And I'll go to where you can learn the last dance. This is where we're going to learn the other the other dance here. So there's one more dance after this. This will teach you the Love Requiem. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, getting the argued to be the most commonly missed dance and talking about Mog and continuing the story, I believe. So we'll see you then.